there was an earthquake in Manhattan about a year ago. Did you hear about it? They called it Hamilton. <laughs> and overnight, everything changed. The author, Lin-Manuel Miranda, was hailed as a genius, and even people who don't like musicals were spending a month's rent to try to get a ticket. Why? What makes Hamilton the next big thing in the musical theater? For those of you who haven't seen it, Hamilton is the story of our founding fathers told with a hip-hop score and a cast of mostly non-white young actors. Sounds logical, right? <laughs> I think a lot about the musical theater. So when something comes along that changes the game like Hamilton, I want to know why. So let's put it in perspective. Most musicals, even the most successful musicals you've seen, typically follow one of those well-established forms. Think of shows like Les Miserables, or Wicked, or even Rent. Each of those follows the well-established pattern, but at an incredibly high level. However, there's a difference between commercial success and changing the game. That only happens about once a generation, and that was the case with Hamilton. These game-changing musicals seem revolutionary, but I've got news for you. Revolution in art is almost always evolution. So those startling features that we're so attracted to in these shows have usually been around in one form or another before. They've just never been used this way or this well. In my line of work, we talk a lot about revolutionary musicals. And you might be surprised that many of those shows we now think of as the most traditional were actually as fresh for their audiences as Hamilton is for us today. Think about Oklahoma, that great granddaddy of all the traditional musicals. It rocked its audience to the core when it brought concert dance onto the musical stage and it rejected the old leggy showgirl Ziegfeld spectacle to tell the humble story of a ranch hand who wanted to marry the farmer's niece and start a family of their own in a brand new state. Or Showboat, which took the dramatic conventions of opera and wove together no less than five popular music forms to tell the story of racism in America between the end of the Civil War and 1927 when that show was first produced or hair, which finally got rock music and youth culture onto the Broadway stage. Each of those shows took some element of popular or high culture and brought it into the musical theater. But you know something? None of them was the first to try to do so. In fact, even Hamilton isn't the first show to bring rap and hip hop onto the Broadway stage. Uh, anybody ever remember Holler If You Hear Me, or On Your Toes, or Always You? Each of those shows tried these innovations first, but with Game Changing in the Musical Theater, it's about how you do it and how well you do it. Writing a musical, a successful musical of any kind, is very difficult because the musical theater has a huge amount of expectations and obligations that it brings with it. Think of Phantom of the Opera, one of the most successful musicals of the last 50 years. Phantom tells the compelling story of familiar characters with catchy music and dance and spectacular design, and it does it in a way that isn't so intellectual or preachy that it chases the audience away, but it still gives us that high-calorie emotional boost we love with drama, romance, and at least a touch of humor, and it does it with broad appeal across all generations and cultures, not just for theater geeks like me. So given all that, it's no wonder that most producers and creators don't want to try something new. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But every once in a great while, someone does come along who truly advances the form. And that was the case with Hamilton. So how do we know when we're seeing a game-changing musical? Well, first, a game-changing musical has to be contemporary. It must look, sound, move, and feel like today. It doesn't have to be set today, but it has to be of today. Second, 
A game-changing musical must reflect the burning social issue of its time. Hamilton is about the assimilation of marginalized immigrants into the mainstream of society and their positive impact on the destiny of that society. That's our burning social moment. Hair is about the way the counterculture of the 1960s rejected the old post-World War II order to bring a new set of values for us to live by. On the Town is about the vitality of America's best and brightest young men as they celebrate what might be the last 24 hours of freedom they'll ever know before they head into the jaws of death in Europe to defend freedom and democracy in America. Every one of those shows held up a mirror to its society. Finally, to be a game-changing musical, a show must create a form that matches the subject. And this is where Hamilton gets it so right. Everyone involved in that show, from the writer, Lin-Manuel Miranda, to the director and choreographer, the designers and orchestrators, all of them conspired to create a, a vital new form, really an amalgamation of existing forms that satisfies all those expectations we have for commercial success, but still manages to move the ball down the field in a way we feel we've never seen before. They took a story we thought we knew and infused it with the music and dance and visual aesthetic of hip hop culture, the true heartbeat of America today. They did it in a way that every middle-aged businessman, every college kid, and everybody from virtually any ethnic or cultural background could identify with and be excited by and feel that they saw themselves represented on that stage. And they did it really, really well. That's why Hamilton is such a game changer. Now, unless you're a theater lover like me, you might wonder, why does any of this matter? Well, here's why. Because the musical theater is bigger than just entertainment. Musicals are an idealized view of the world. They're also an aspirational vision of what we hope to become. So, every one of those shows I talked about captures its national moment in that time capsule and tells us about where we're heading. When we look at Hamilton, maybe it's not so crazy that we're telling the story of America's past with a score that sounds like America's present and a cast that looks like America's future. For now, we can relish everything that Hamilton does so well. We know that other people are gonna pick up that form and maybe even refine it, but at some point, even Hamilton and those shows that it spawns will be the old thing. And when they are, you can bet that some creative young woman is gonna fight her way up through the crowd to tell her musical story of America's next future and change the game again. And I can't wait. <laughs>